Hey everybody, Doggy788 here. This is my favorite anime films list. And the very first one I gotta start off with is Fist of the North Star, aka Hop Toe Noken 1986. This was an adaptation of the Fist of the North Star um manga. Manga and it, it adapts it adapts the first half with Kinchiro's battle with Shin all the way up to Kinchiro's final battle with his older brother Wow, this right here, like I said, got me in the Fist of the North Star. This film was awesome. Slick animation, awesome fighting and art, awesome fighting and artwork, and all the bloody and gore that the television series lack, man. Man, this was an awesome movie right here, and the remastered version is even better. It makes it look like it came out today. And, um, both, I love both the Japanese and English dub. English dub a, a little bit more. For some reason, I always, I always thought, I always loved the Japanese versions, but I always thought the English dubs were always better when it came to Fist of the North Star. Well, except for the live action film. The live action film, I think the Japanese dub is better. Um, um, like, but like I said, I was a huge fan of Fist of the North Star. This got me into the Fist of the North Star franchise. I haven't checked out the modern day films. They had a couple of films in the 2000s. I haven't checked those out. And, you know, and, I, and I hear they're incredibly hard to find. I may check those out someday since I love the 86 version so much. The next film is the very first Vampire Hunter D film. I actually saw this film for the first time in 1995 when Cartoon Network was doing this Japan anime night of anime weekend where they, for whole, one whole weekend they showed nothing but um they show nothing but anime. G Force, Gotcha Man, uh, Ninja Robots, a, show, a, a live action anime movie called Twilight of the Cockroaches, Vampire Hunter D, and um, a, a, a 12 episode director's animated project called Robot Carnival in 95. Well, anyway, I saw Vampire Hunter D, but I didn't remember what I saw. I rediscovered this film in the mid 2000s and. My God, man, was this right here awesome. This right here was an awesome film. In my opinion, alongside Blade, Vampire Hunter D and Blade, in my opinion, are two of the best vampire series of all time. I've only, I've only um, seen the, vamp the first Vampire Hunter D film, Vampire Hunter D um, film, and um, it was um, awesome. This film, awesome story. I didn't, have, didn't read the novel, so I so I don't know if it stayed true or not. But awesome story, awesome characters. This was like a combination of, um, Vampire Hunter D reminds me of X Men, Batman, Batman, Fist of the North Star, and Street Fighter before Street Fighter because all the vampires in here were mutants and they had their own signature maneuvers. And it takes place in a futuristic, post-apocalyptic um. World just like Hot to No Kid. I think the director for Vampire Hunter D was the same. The next one is based on the video game Fatal Fury 2: The New Battle, which chronicles Terry Bogart's, which 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 features Terry Bogart facing off with a new challenger, Rudolph Krauser, the main antagonist of Fatal Fury 2: The Video Game. Fatal Fury 2: The Um Video Game. This film leads off where the first one left off. Fatal Fury 1. Fatal Fury 1 was good, but I, really, I, didn't really, I didn't really care for that one apart from a couple of scenes. Fatal Fury 2 and the motion picture were always where, where, I, were always where I needed to go for the Fatal Fury movies. Motion picture was awesome. Took the story in a whole new direction. Unlike the second one, which followed the games, unlike the second one, this has a brand new story which features Terry meeting a, Terry and his friends meeting a woman named Zulia. They have to stop her brother Lyle Korn and, and Lyle Korn and his brothers from unlocking the god of um Mars and releasing I think Godimus releasing the fire god god Godimus Godimus awesome um story awesome story cool animation cool fight scenes cool fight scenes even though the budget did you can kind of see the budget fall apart when they get to the fight scenes the characters look funny when during the fight scenes and um just epic and I love that badass old angel theme song in the end both Japanese and English English and it was tragic too the end of this movie was sad um next of course is the Street Fighter 2 the anime movie I think I saw I saw this on the sci-fi channel back in the um back in the late 90s and been a huge fan ever since you know how awesome it was seeing the Street Fighter characters I was a huge fan of Street Fighter 2 Street Fighter 2 Champions Edition and seeing those characters come together in this animated um come to life 
in this animated film. It was awesome seeing all the moves, the Hadou, the sh Shoryuken, the Haruken, the um, kicks and stuff, and the martial arts, and the realistic martial arts and stuff. Man, Street Fighter Alpha the movie. I'm also a huge fan of the Street Fighter Alpha series. Street Fighter Alpha series and this, while changing some things like the main antagonist of the movie, instead of Bison, it's a guy named Sattler. This is a pretty good adaptation of Street Fighter, um, Street Fighter Alpha. Now, I love the subplot with Ryu's brother. Um, the next film is, of course, the cult classic Akira. I've always, I've heard of this film in the mid-2000s and finally got to see it just recently when it aired on Toonami in this film right here from beginning to end. It was worth, it exceeded my expectation and was worth it. It was worth its reputation. This was an awesome animated film. Probably one of the best animated films of all time. Next one is Naruto Movies 1, 2, and 3. I haven't seen any of the movies from the Shippuden storyline. Only seen the first one. The first one was awesome with the whole movie set and Naruto and them were fighting the snow ninjas. Ninjas clash in the snow. I love that. The second one, The Stone of Golel, where Naruto, Shikamaru, and Sakura, and Gara and Kankaro fight these knights, fight these knights, fight these knights and stuff, and Naruto meets this guy who is similar to Sasuke named Timujin. Awesome stuff. The third movie, I don't remember the plot of the third movie, but I love this movie because I love Naruto, Sakura, and Rock Lee's cool summer, new summer outfits, and I love this movie for including Rock Lee. This has some of the most badass, intense fighting of all time, man. Naruto movies, well animated, well written, they're good, the Naruto movies are good as their own side project. The first, next one is Bleach, Memories of Nobody. This is the only Bleach animated film I've seen. I saw this one in air on Adult Swim, back in, I think it was 2008 or 2009. This movie right here was awesome. This movie right here was awesome. Huge Bleach fan, this was an awesome Bleach movie. Now, I don't remember the plot of this movie, gotta watch it over again for a review. Next is in the Inuyasha movies. Um... And you watch movies. I, I don't remember the plot of these movies, but I remember that huge, that awesome Adult Swim marathon back in 2007 when they showed all these movies, and it was awesome. And it was um, awesome and nostalgic. And um, I just remember um, them showing all this awesome stuff, man. I just remember them showing all this awesome um, stuff. I don't remember the plots, but I do remember them not following the mangas. This is good. This was good as a side project. Ninja Scroll is the next one. I love Ninja Scroll. My uncle showed me this in late 2005, and I've been a huge fan. Um, I've been a huge fan ever since, man. Um, don't remember much about the plot, but I remember it being awesome, violent, and gory. And the story was pretty good too. The next one is Escola Flowy. Don't don't understand the plot of this anime, but it's based on an anime of the same name, and, and for me, it's it, I watched it because it was similar to Inuyasha and Roni Kenshin, except in a futuristic world, and this is more serious. It even features the same cast, the Ocean Dub cast from the Inuyasha show. Next, of course, is Trigun, the movie, which I just recently watched. Didn't understand this movie either, but I was just happy to see Trigun back. Uh, Trigun was, a, was one of my favorite animes. It was a badass anime back in the day. Um... Yu Yu Hakusho, the movie. Don't remember much about this one either, but I remember downloading this movie 10, 10 or 12 years ago. 12 years ago, and, and, and this movie right here was an awesome movie alongside the show. And um, I don't have this movie anymore because um, I lost all those files a long time ago. Next movie is Samurai X, the motion picture with Rodi Kenshin. I saw this in 2006. This was a pretty good movie alongside the Roni Kenshin movies and the last one on this list is um the last one on this list is Highlander The Search for Vengeance this was a pretty good anime movie in 2007 I saw it on the sci-fi channel and um it was pretty awesome my opinion not as good as the live action films which I'm a huge fan of well, at least the first third and fourth one but um, this was a pretty good adaptation of the Highlander on franchise well this was my favorite anime list is um You'll be seeing reviews and all kinds of videos on these uh, movies. All right, Doug, 8798 out.